Today I'm at the farmer's market, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some fresh Pacific salmon. So, um, here we go. Here I am at the uh, fish vendor at the farmer's market, and they, uh, they're called Dry Dock. They're out of Fullerton, California. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some terrific Pacific fresh king salmon. And uh, what I like to do is I like to get the belly cuts. And this is the uh, this is the uh, one of the uh, owners. <laughs> How no, you doing? actually, I'm an employee. It's an employee. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. Now, there's a lot of salmon that you get in the supermarket, but uh, that's usually dyed salmon, and it's East Coast salmon farm raised. This is fresh king salmon, and what I like to do is pick up the belly cuts. And this is the belly cut right here. You can tell it's got the uh, the white fat on the side. It's really really awesome. This. What is this, a fillet, right? A tail. This is a tail. And I, like I said, the belly cuts are a lot better than the tails because they are a lot, um, they've got a lot higher fat content. And uh, that's sushi grade salmon right there. So I think I'm gonna get this one right here. Sounds good. All right, there we go. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna be making a green sauce going to be a fresh cold green sauce and I'm going to put that over the salmon. So I'm going to be making this while the salmon's cooking. So what it is, is it's a, I'm going to be using my immersion blender, the food processor part of it. And it's going to have some salt pack capers, which I love, as you know. Uh, heavy whipping cream, mayonnaise, great for calories or whatever. Some fresh lime, fresh garlic, olive oil, and uh, some uh, fresh ground pepper. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna start off with my, my Italian parsley and my dill. And I'm gonna put it in the processor, as well as the garlic. And I'm gonna squeeze a little uh, little lime in here and give it some, uh, some consistency, whatever. And um, now I'm gonna put this up here and I'm gonna process it. I'm just gonna put it on pulse. Done is it just kind of pulsed it up a little bit. I got a little uh, rubber spatula that I used to, to uh, scrape it down, scrape the sides down. Try it again. Okay. Now, I'm going to pour in some heavy cream, put in some mayonnaise. Put in about uh, I don't know a tablespoon of these capers. Save the rest of the salmon, and I'm gonna squeeze the juice of a uh, whole lime in there. I don't need to add any salt because um, the capers are salty nuts. So. Now what this needs is, is a little bit more dill, so I'm going to get some dill right here. What you want to do, you want to have a nice green consistency, color, you know. Put that dill in there. Really nice 
nice sauce. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sauce in the refrigerator and get, let it get really nice and crisp and cold and then I'm just going to scoot it over the salmon when it's done. Delicious. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh yeah. I'm talking. Dill sauce. Excellent. Okay. Very, very good. Okay, then this is uh, my piece of uh, Pacific salmon that I got at the farmer's market. And uh, you can see the beautiful color. Look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is, um, this is a belly cut, as I said. And the thing about the belly cut is um, you've got those delicious omega fats. And you can see the marbling in the salmon. Uh, this salmon you could actually eat raw, and I have eaten it raw. Um, it's sushi grade. It's beautiful, beautiful salmon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a slice of it and I'm going to cook it tonight and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's beautiful. I like it so much better than, um, you know, than the salmon that you get in the supermarkets that are um, farm raised and dyed. I mean, there's no comparison actually. So there that is. Isn't that beautiful? Pacific salmon. Okay, I've got my salmon in the uh, in the pan, and um, for salmon and all fish, I like to use a non-stick pan. As a matter of fact, it's the only kind I'll use because um, you never want them to stick. And um, I always started out skin down, and um, so I like a nice crispy skin, and then I flip it over. Now, what I've done is I put some herbs de Provence on it, uh, some crushed pepper some Italian parsley for my garden and some um, some fresh uh, some fresh thyme. Whoa! <laughs> that guy's going off. So yeah, some fresh thyme and uh, you know it just gives it a nice little extra flavor so um, I'm gonna flip it here pretty quick and I'll show you what it looks like then. All right. Okay I flipped it and um, you can see the delicious uh, golden color on this salmon. And also, um, what I've done is I've squeezed some of the uh, remaining lime and that I've put into the uh, green sauce and, uh, and also added some of the capers. Now, the reason that the, the, the uh, fish is uh, a long, skinny piece like this is because what this does is, especially if you have somebody over for dinner or something, you're going to give them the uh, belly cut part, which is here, the, uh, the fat, fatty side, and then this is the, uh, the more leaner side. So you get an entire uh, representation of that particular cut of fish, and it's uh, really, really good like this. So we will uh, continue on here in a minute. Doesn't that look tasty? Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is my uh, finished product. It's a delicious dinner. This is uh, Pacific salmon with uh, green sauce, and I uh, made it with some basmati rice and some uh, blanched green beans. And I'm serving it up with uh, my favorite uh, Pinot Grigio, Medici Corona. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of that sauce on there. Pretty tough trying to videotape this and um, and uh, cook it and spread the sauce on it and what have you. But anyway, isn't that delicious? Now, the way I have my salmon is I always uh, try to cook it kind of medium rare, so um, so that it's um, not raw on the inside, but but uh, almost uh, you know not pink, a little bit uh, rawer than pink. And with this kind of salmon, you can because it's so fresh. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, whatever. You know, you just uh, you can have it exactly how you want, and it's so delicious. So there it is. Mmm, baby, that looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah. Loving you. I like that music too. Mm -hmm. Sell to me. Okay, bye bye. I gotta go eat. <laughs>